Hello everybody, this is how to install the Aver Media uh, internal capture card thing and be able to capture PS3 gameplay, yes PS3, with HDMI, okay, HDMI, not component or composite, okay, not that, HDMI, okay, first of all, you need an HDMI splitter. I have a powered one. It's the Ultra 2 port HDMI splitter. It is powered. There's your two outputs. And there's your input. Okay. You need three HDMI cables. I'm only showing you one, but you do need three. Three of them, yes. They're not expensive anymore. They're not fifty dollars. They're like five, six bucks a piece. This is a little bit more expensive because it's braided. Anyway, that's about fifteen, twenty dollars worth of HDMI cables. Uh, HD powered splitter. You can probably pick up a good one off Amazon or eBay, or I bought mine off Tiger Direct for about eh, fifty bucks. You can probably get cheaper used. And but it, this is what you really need. You need your PS3. Yes, PS3. So, that will be all that. I'll show you how to set up everything. And then you also need the Avermedia capture card, which is inside my computer, because I did not want to have to take it all apart and all that stuff. So, I will show you how to install it. Here we go. Okay. Once you hook up your PS3 and everything, and once you're at your PS3, uh, just go over to your settings, display settings, and change your video output to 720. So change it from whatever you had it at, uh, AV, composite, component, whatever it was, change it to HDMI, and this is again only for HDMI like TVs, so don't be using your grandma's boob tube and expect it to have an HDMI port. If it does, please tell me. Anyway, go to custom and only do 720. Do not do 1080p or 1080i. 720p only. Okay, I'm not going to show you guys how to do 1080i. 720p is just fine. Just go over and set your audio also to HDMI. Okay, and you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, you can, if I'd go manual, I would just select it all because some games capture at uh, higher than two channel, and since you're running HDMI, it can capture Dolby. And then you can, if you use Sony Vegas, you can render it with Dolby settings since Fraps and all that records Dolby also multi-channel and all that. So. Yes, there you go. Now you are done with your PS3 for right now, so just accept that and just turn your PS3 off. And then we will have to install the Avermedia card into your computer and continue on. Okay. Here, the Avermedia card, I'm not going to show you how to install. Hopefully, you know how to. You should have a PCI slot in your computer. If you don't, this is not for you. It's just a shorter slot, maybe an inch long. Anyway, you have your HDMI cable right here going into the back and then you want your this is the other cable you should get okay it's got all these little funky component composite s video all that stuff so don't worry about that so it looks like there's two hdmi ports the one on the right once the computer is installed like basically upside down it's right there so the slot the little silver thing above my graphics card again so we got our hdmi port or hdmi ports on the right Run your HDMI cable all the way down Ugh. to the splitter that I showed you guys earlier. And you have one, you got the one you got two HDMI cables right here. One is running from your Aver to here, and the other one is running from here to your TV or monitor, however you're playing, up to right here. So running all the way back down, and then from this one is running to the back of my PS3 right there and so that's that you got your HDMI then splitter plugged in from PS3 to it 
from it it splits off one to your Aver media and the other one to the monitor okay now here's how you have to, what you have to do for Aver media on the computer okay once you have this uh, on your computer and your Aver media is installed and you have your splitter hooked up and your PS3 HDMI from PS3 to splitter and then splits off the two one to your computer and one to your monitor or TV that you play on you now need to download the Aver Media uh, Dark Crystal HD Capture Pro uh, Aver Media Center thing the version 1.75 under the APN driver I'll put a link on the in the description oh sorry and we want that one because it supports HDCP and as we all know PS3 has HDCP which protects it from being recorded via HDMI thank you Aver Media for doing this for us so you just download it as you can see I'm already downloading it quite slowly but don't worry about it anyway once you get that and once we get this downloaded I will now show you how to install it and also you need fraps I'll give a download link for fraps that you use to record and then we'll get to all the nitty gritty of all the stuff you need and all that okay once you have it downloaded your uh, dark crystal HD capture pro thing uh, Thaver Media Center basically you want to let's run it yes to all if that pops up uh, click yes if you have Windows is set like that and this should pop up you need a pretty fast computer well it, you read the specs online, the specs are there a lot of hard drive space if you record only at 720 like I do it takes about uh, 3 to 4 gigs to let's see, 3 to 4 gigs for about every 3 to 4 minutes of gameplay so you do run out of space quickly but that is on the minor side anyway once you're at a, this setup thing after you accepted your terms of an agreement just do a complete install and let it in, do its little thing in the bottom right hand corner okay you don't need to view the readme file I think you're, you guys are smart enough if not please tell me okay okay now once it's uh, all installed launch your Aver Media okay launch it uh, just say yes you want to activate it so there you go that's our primary device okay uh, change it to whatever yours is set to I'm pretty sure all this stuff is what my it's already preset basically to the United States and that is all you need to do not too much to but there's one other thing go to your settings go to TV go to configure HD input source configure recording now click edit and change your video size to 1280 now you can save that um, back out of that and now turn your PS3 on and set this to HDMI set the thing and there you go right there it's working for me but you cannot record with Aver Media software look that is what happens okay well here's how you can record okay well to record you need to exit out of Aver Media completely so then there's nothing there uh, download and install fraps I'm not going to show you to do that because it is quite simple just launch fraps and uh, go to movies and set your thing whatever you want it doesn't have to be F7 it could be whatever you need it to be set it to record Windows 7 sound so just click Windows 7 sound. Uh, hide the mouse and cursor in the video. That's pretty well evident. So in case you forget to leave your mouse over on the screen, it'll show. 
set it to record multi-channel so you can record in 5.1 channel it's kind of nice and set it to 30 frames just so then it doesn't drop unless you're doing a lot of stuff on your hard drive and then it'll, it'll drop frames badly and then set it to wherever you want it set I have it set to the public so then other people can access my vi my raw footage and all that so that is all you need to do so just minimize that and I'll relaunch uh, Aver Media and just click the TV and there you go you might be able to see it says it's at 60 but when you record it goes down to 30 and now you can record but here is another little issue thing you need to make sure your screen resolution is at a 16 by 9 so I record I have I split my monitor my monitor is also my TV so yeah my se my secondary monitor is a 19 inch and I have it set to 1280 by 720 therefore I move uh, my Aver Media thing over to my left screen, which I'm not recording because I don't feel like that. And then you set it to record. So I just have it launch up on the my left hand side, as you can see this thing on the left hand side. And then full screen Aver Media. So you click this, and then it'll full screen it, and that's how you record. Or else it'll be a weird size and all that stuff but that is how you would do that and just make sure your monitor is at that thing and record and then you can play on your normal TV without any lag there's about a maybe half to one second lag which is enough to be very hard to play on but still enough that it's not bad so I mean you can watch movies on the monitor but probably not play games okay well that does it for how to install the dark whatever thing it is the Dark Crystal HD Capture Pro. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any more questions on how to uh, install or questions, issues, maybe there's a black screen instead of this showing up or anything. But this is how to do it. If you guys would like any other tutorials on how to capture PS3 gameplay, uh, I can do the Intensity Shuttle Pro, the Black Magic the USB 3.0 one. I can do that if you guys would like me to. But yeah, just drop a comment and a thumbs up, please. It really helps me. And maybe a favorite. And the total setup of everything, excluding the PS3, cost me right around $130 because I got my Avermedia used on Amazon. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.